Hey everyone, it's Siren time. We're going back to Siren, back to the village of Hanada that is having the worst few days ever. And we're going back to Shiro's first mission because we've got a second objective. And it's actually, I think, one of the tougher second objectives to actually complete on your own. Not like not looking up a fact. Once you, I mean, once you know what to do, if you look it up, it's actually pretty easy. It's pretty simple. But if you're trying to figure this out on your own, I'm not sure how much luck you're going to have. Uh, we're going to continue. We're going to see what this is about. And we are going to use a stage select because we are not going to Kiyoya's next mission. If we did, we could do it again, but the second objective is not available yet. They're not, they're not all available right away, but Shiro's is. So we're going to do his. The description of the stage is that Miata regains consciousness in the forest. The mounds of dirt and scraps of vinyl sheeting around him indicate to the horrified Miata that something has been dug up. I don't think we read that description before. We did see in his initial cutscene that he woke up in the middle of the woods and there's a hole in front of him. And he's very shocked to see this hole. He doesn't talk about it after this. Like when he meets when he meets uh, Risa, he doesn't actually say anything about it. But he doesn't seem to be happy about what he's about to see. Not possible. So he's not very concerned about him being unconscious or hearing the siren. He's more concerned about this big hole in front of him and how that should not be possible. The objective one that we did the first time was just to escape the valley. Objective two, find a nurse's shoe. And this is actually kind of tough because if you remember this level, and we'll take a look at it in a second, it's huge. It's really big. And we have to find this one shoe in the entire level. So how do you suppose we're going to do that? Well, the way we have to do it, we're immediately going to start sight jacking. Who are you going to sight jack? I mean, you really wouldn't be able to, to know, first of all, but it's this guy. There's really no clue as to that this is the guy, but I guess if you think about it, there are not many Shibito that are walking around. I think actually only two. Everyone else is stationary, but there are two that are walking. This is one of them. So we have to keep our eye on him until he does something that's going to tell us where the shoe is. <laughs> So I guess the story of this level is that Miata woke up, found this giant hole in front of him, was shocked, was working his way out uh, of this danger, trying to get out of here. And while he was on his way, he just happened to notice that one of the Shibito walking around was carrying a shoe. And I guess the shoe must be familiar to him. Otherwise, why would he care about it? He said it's a nurse's shoe. And uh, Shiro is the town doctor. So I guess he recognizes whose shoe it is. We just have to be patient. We just have to take our time and just wait until we find out where we need to go. And each of the second objectives, do they do have a clue in the manual. And I think I'm going to want to look up that manual after this so we can see what the clue for this one is. Because this seems... Hold on, hold on. There it is. Okay. He put it down. See it? It's right there in the bush. You can barely see it. It's barely visible. But it's there. It's a shoe in the bush. All right. Let's go get that thing. I do think that if you don't if you don't catch that i think that guy will walk back there eventually and look at it again so you won't have lost your chance but that's how you find out where it is as far as this goes clawed at from within so shira was very shocked to see this and shocked to see what appeared to be bloody footprints walking away from the hole for right now, let's try to get over to that shoe and see what Shiro thinks about that. Alright, here's the other Shibito that's walking around. He's walking up this way, so hold on, actually. 
I do need to go this way because do you remember how we get past that sniper who's guarding the bridge? Because we need to get across that bridge to get to that shoe. Yep. We get this phone card with Naoko's picture on it, and I think someone just noticed me. Yep. So I'm going to have to go running. And, like, there might... I think that Shibito was walking... Yep. So two of them have seen me. Uh, that could be a bad situation. Let's see what happens here. Can I run around behind here? I think so. I think I'm going to get around him. Oh, no. <laughs> Almost did. Should not have pressed my luck. All right, what about the guy up here? He's, okay, he's still looking, but his back is to me. I'm just going to have to walk around him. Yep, okay. That's my chance. Fortunately, he was good enough to give me to, to howl, which let me run right by him. Because Shiro does not have a weapon right now, if you remember. He wakes up defenseless. We have to get to his car to find that wrench. Yeah, over here. The wrench and the flare are in here, but we actually won't need the flare because the mission is not to escape. The mission is just to get that shoe. So once we get the shoe, we'll be done. All right, if that guy comes down here, I can just use the wrench. For right now, I'm going to go over here, put the phone card in the phone, and get the sniper to come over here. All right, let's head back so the sniper does not see us as he's coming. See if that guy's coming down here? I don't see him yet. He'll be coming down eventually, and I think he usually does come down this path. Let's just see what the oh, let's just see what that sniper's doing. Yep, sniper's coming across the bridge. And I don't see anyone coming yet down here. Don't want to start running too early. I want to wait until that sniper has his back to me. And he's almost there. Don't see anyone coming down the mountain yet. Alright, that's long enough. Alright, and with him down, and with us knowing where the shoe is, there's really nothing in our way. Except this guy. But that's all right. He's the guy who took the shoe. He should not take shoes that does not that do not belong to him. Like clearly, it's not his shoe. The shoe belongs to a nurse. Can you see? Let's see. Is this where the shoe is? Let me see. There it is. Dirty shoe. Can you see it in the bush? Like it's it like it's physically there. Like the object is there, and you can kind of see it. It's barely visible. I, I, you probably can't make that out. But if you didn't actually see him put the shoe down, it is like almost next to impossible to actually notice that. Who did this? Shiro seems annoyed at the presence of this shoe. Someone just taking a shoe, doesn't belong to him, shoving it in a bush. Who does that? But for some reason, Shiro seems upset that someone took the shoe. He seems kind of annoyed at what's been happening in this level. Waking up, finding a big hole with bloody footsteps walking away. And he thinks that's impossible. And now he finds a shoe that should not be in a bush, hidden in a bush. I guess we'll learn more about Shiro as time goes on, but... Still, he's kind of curious. His behavior is a little bit curious in this first level that we see him in. In the next level that we see him in, he's with uh, Risa going to the hospital. And uh, he seems all right there. But in this level, they don't really explain yet what it is he's doing out here and why he's so upset at what he's seeing. 
really, that's all there is to the level. No other scenes. He found a shoe, and that's going to be that. And finding that shoe with Shiro is what is going to lead us to our next level, a new level, as we go to the hospital, which is a new le- We have not seen the hospital yet. Shiro and Risa were on their way there, and after arriving, they uh, ran into Kay. And the three of them are now in the hospital. The next level will take us into the hospital as we will be controlling Risa again. In a new level with Risa. As, uh, well, actually, it's called the Miata Clinic. Not the hospital. It's the Miata Clinic. Shiro's Clinic. And we're going to be going there. Before we leave, though, let me just take a look at something. I want to take a look at that manual. Just remind myself what the clue for this particular level is. Because remember, there were clues for all of the secondary objectives. So this level is day one, around 3 in the morning. So 331. Search the place where the man hid it. It's a little obscure, this clue. I mean, I I guess it kind of indicates to you that one of the Shibito is going to hide the shoe. Because that's what you're looking for. So maybe you should sight jack the Shibido to see what they're doing, I guess, is what this clue is getting at. It's, and then you have to search where the Shibido hid the shoe. Is, but still, considering how the Shibido who has the shoe, he doesn't actually, he doesn't actually exhibit any strange behavior until he hides the shoe. Until he does that, you cannot tell he has the shoe. He just acts like he acts like he normally does until he reaches the bush that he hides it in. And it can be a different bush, by the way. I've seen him hide that shoe in two other bushes. So it's not just there. It can be uh, in different places. But that's the clue that you're supposed to use to figure out which bush to look at. And we've gotten we've done through a, uh, done a few of these now. A, a few of these second objectives. And some of them make more sense now. Like, for example, it's blown up onto the roof. That's probably uh, the letter that Kiyoya got, right? It's probably that. It will melt between the gap in the kitchen, go to the front door before the pig cries, which is obviously what we use the frozen towel for. You know, I always thought that by the pig cries, that meant the piggy bank, like, crashing onto, onto the floor. I guess it could also mean the cop. Like, being disturbed by the piggy bank. That could also be. It also mentions that you should go to the front door. And some people did say that that's what they did. It never even occurred to me to to do that. Every time uh, I've done that level, I just waited for the cop to come into the back and then attacked him. It never occurred to me to go to the front door because why not just take out the cop? Well, what else is there? Um... Oh, signal to change the position, gather them in one place, which was, of course, when um, when Naoko pushed the trolley. And after the man in black strikes it with stone, that was when Tamon shot the lock on that shrine where Yoriko's student ID was, because he could only shoot it after K, the man in black, hit it with a stone. That gun would not have worked otherwise for some reason. And some people did mention that I got the timeline a little wrong. Uh, Yoriko did not lose her student ID twice. She lost it once. The level where Yoriko was with Akira takes place between the two Tamon levels, where Tamon leaves Yoriko and then comes back to get her and asks her if she has stayed in one place the whole time. It turned out that she did not. She went off on her own. And uh, then I guess after her adventures with Akira, she just went back to where she started from and where Tamon found her, is I guess how that timeline goes. But I don't think we have seen the end of the uh, Akira and Yoriko timeline. I think they still have uh, a little bit more time together before Yoriko goes back to Tamon. A lot of these others, I'm not sure if we have seen yet. Well, day two and day three, definitely not day three. I don't think we've seen any second objectives for day two. And uh, we may have seen more than... We may have seen a few others for day one, but I don't... They're kind of vague enough that I'm not sure about. Like, pay attention to the man on the roof and the informer. Pay attention to the crouching man. It only blooms at night, the tools on the second floor. Well, we know what blooms at night, and there's that midnight pimpernel. 
But in that level where we found it, we did not get a second objective, so that's probably going to be something else. So, yeah, these are the hints. We took a look at them very early on in the LP, but here they are again. Uh, so you can just remember what it is that we've been doing for these second objectives. And there's still a bunch to go. And, of course, we will be revisiting this at some point, to see, just to catch up on what we're on. But that's it for this, uh, this episode of Siren. Shiro found a shoe, and he was annoyed about it. But next time, we will actually have a fully new level. A new area we have not been before, the Miata Clinic, as, uh, as Risa has quite an adventure on her hands. I'll see you next time for that.